My name is uh, Mats Torbjörnsson and I'm a grip and test pilot for uh, Saab in Sweden. The thing with the uh, grip and uh, next generation, it's a totally new aircraft. Uh, from the outside it might look very uh, similar to, to previous versions, but it's, it's a really a new aircraft. So all of the avionics system is completely different. Uh, we try to divide flight safety critical things from tactical functionality, which, which will make it very easy to upgrade the aircraft. So pretty much like uh, apps in your smartphone, so it's very easy to do upgrades. Uh, the aircraft also has a more powerful engine. It can carry more weapons, uh, more fuel, so the range performance is, is better. And it has the latest generation of, of sensors uh, integrated on the aircraft as well. The first flight of the Gripen, uh, uh, Gripen E, uh, went just like as expected, so no problems at all. And since then we have performed uh, a number of flights and everything is going very well so far. Uh, now we have a break in, in Sweden for, for the summer holidays, but uh, uh, immediately in mid-August we will uh, start with the test flights again and, and a very intense uh, period of test flights. Do you think the Gripen would be like an ideal replacement for Bologna Cafe, for example? We hope so. We think that the Gripen would uh, be a very good uh, aircraft and a very good system for the Colombian Air Force. And Gripen is not the only uh, an aircraft, it's, uh, it's a complete system that we will deliver with support and with training and everything. Uh, and the Gripen, Gripen has uh, all the capabilities of, of similar fighters, but it's much, much cheaper to operate. Uh, so hopefully we can persuade the, the Colombian Air Force that Gripen is a good choice. What is the difference between the Gripen and other similar jets in the market right now? I mean, there are a number of aircraft today uh, that basically have the same capabilities. Uh, the Gripen, uh, if you look at the French Rafale, uh, Typhoon, there are other aircraft that can basically do the same things. Uh, but with Gripen, it's much, much cheaper to operate. And it's a very, very reliable system. So the av availability of the system is very, very high. Uh, so, so the operating cost, for, ex for instance, for the Colombian Air Force throughout the lifetime is very, very different. Another thing that we do with the Gripen is that we continuously upgrade the system based on the operational requirements from the customer. So uh, we do upgrades all the time to keep the, the Gripen uh, operationally relevant uh, over time. Finally, the Gripen can operate from its it can operate in Swedish environment, like yes. cold, and yeah. it doesn't have the same conditions like here. No, but we operate the Gripen in, for instance, in South Africa, where it's very hot, and also in uh, Thailand, where it's both hot and humid, uh, and up in, in Sweden, where it's very cold. So uh, Gripen is, is capable of operating the, uh, in all, all climate conditions throughout the world.